remember what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Kobe Bryant and his 13-year-old daughter, Gigi, were laid to rest in a private family service on Friday, two weeks after their deaths in a helicopter crash. The funeral was held quietly on Friday at Pacific View Memorial Park in Corona Del Mar, California, with no photographers present. Information about the ceremony was revealed in death certificates issued by the County of Los Angeles Department of Public Health, which listed burial as the type of deposition for both Kobe and Gianna. The certificates listed the cause of death as blunt trauma and indicated that they died in a rapid manner in the January 26th crash in the hills of Calabasas. Now that Gigi and Kobe has been laid to rest, a public memorial will take place at the Staples Center on February 24th. The date is no coincidence. Number two is the number that Gigi wore on her team at the time of her death. Number 24 is the number that Kobe wore in his last years as a Laker. This is it's kind of creeping me out, man. This whole thing, just reporting Kobe Bryant being dead, it just don't sound right. Reading the death certificate, don't, it just don't sound right. It just, it's just very, very odd. Unreal. It's reported that the memorial will be attended by family, friends, NBA officials and players, season ticket holders, and politicians. The remaining seats will be ticketed to members of the public on a first come, first serve basis. Now, the Staples Center holds 20,000 people. Law enforcement says that just like with Nipsey Hussle and Michael Jackson, who was memorialized at the Staples Center. The streets will be blocked off. They said hundreds of thousands of people would like to attend, but obviously that can't happen. Law enforcement did say that they would get people as close to the arena as possible. I kind of like the move that the family made by having a private ceremony first. Let's put them in the ground and let the family grieve alone in private. Here's the shocker out of all of this. What happened with TMZ? You know, TMZ don't miss nothing. How did they pull that off? without TMZ finding out. Because you know there was a number of, you know TMZ will stake out your crib. They be having photographers and reporters hanging all out in the in the bushes. They'll rent an apartment next door, a house next door, it's camp out in the van, whatever. TMZ be on it. And they miss this story entirely. Big shout out. Whoever planned that. Big shout out to them. And to all of the family and friends. Who did attend the private ceremony. For keeping it on the hush. Beautiful. R.I.P. Kobe. R.I.P. G.G. R.I.P. to all of the victims. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.